Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome to the November 2017 update video. We're going to take a look at Syndicate today. We got some surveillance video happening here. They hit him with a car! That's a great intro. Just run the guy over with your car and kidnap him. But what are they going to do with this guy that we just kidnapped? They're returning to headquarters. Let's find out why. They're preparing the subject for biogenetic engineering. Again, this is just some guy they... they found on the street and ran over with their car. The Leonardo device is activated. Generating replacement limbs. Look at this. Just a machine just, just cut his leg off and put a new one on in one go. You know, like you do. Now he's on the street, ready for a mission. What an intro. Well, what did we just watch? What was that intro all about? Well, Syndicate is a game, as you can see, 1993 by Bullfrog. Uh, one of the many, uh, many great studios that was closed down by Electronics Arts uh, over time. I'm a little salty about the Visceral uh, studio being shut down as well. A uh, little bit current events there if you don't know. EA has been eating up studios and just digesting them and pooping them out into the, the history of video gaming. But Bullfrog Entertainment, an amazing studio. Think Syndicate, of course. Uh, Theme Hospital. Uh, I'm trying to think of other Bullfrog uh, games, but of course, uh, the Railroad Tycoons, maybe? My brain's blanking on me here, of course, but a great studio from back in the day. And Syndicate is a game where you play the head of an international organization in the future. After governments have fallen, and now crime syndicates rule the world. And your job is to take over the entire world with your crime syndicate. Oh, those menus are cool. So the first thing you can do in Syndicate is you can configure your company. So we could change the logo. So we could make like a cool bright yellow logo and we could choose something different. Uh, let's make our company. Let's just use that bullfrog. Oh, we'll never get back to him. Let's just use this, this lady right here. This sexy cyber lady is our new symbol. We could change our name. So this could be Grug Inc. It's what we'll call our company. And my name, of course, is Grugtar. All right, so we've designed our company. And now, what we can do is we can begin a mission. So, we can choose any of the places on here once we take over a territory to go to. So, our first mission we can take on is here, and then we can spread across the entire map. But we're going to start here on this mission in, uh, oh, in Western Europe. So let's go to the mission brief. So, a mercenary camp. Your mission is an assassination. Intelligence reports have indicated that an army colonel is stealing resources from your weapons division and using them to equip his mercenaries. His base has been set up just outside one of our cities, and the populace have reported disturbances caused by his troops. So, it looks like we can take a look. We could 
We have 30,000 credits. We can spend 100 credits for some more info. We can spend 100 credits to get a better map than what we can see here. If we look at the map... Oh, that takes us back to here. I'm sorry. To the mission select. So this is the only mission available to start, so we're going to accept the mission. Next up, we have to choose what we need to take with us. So we have our troops. You can see that we're going to take four agents. Like we got two lady agents and two man agents along with us. So here we need to equip them. And every piece of equipment costs some money. Uh, it looks like they all come with a pistol to begin with. Uh, but let's go ahead and also buy them all a shotgun. Shotguns have an okay range. Not very much ammo. They cost 250 a piece. We're going to buy a shotgun for each of our agents. Just so they can have those ready to go when we need them for combat. Uh, we can also set up some research while we're out on this mission. We could choose how much money we want to spend on our research. So let's research uh, automatic weapons while we're out. And we're going to leave funding at 96. You can see here's kind of a graph. Doesn't mean a lot to us right now, but... It'll do some funding while we're there. So we'll accept that. Let's also... Uh, mods, we could buy enhancements for our team. So for example, we can buy this chest right here. Cost 8,000. We're not going to play this game, so we're not worried about spending money. So you can see we can buy cybernetic upgrades for our team. So we're going to buy them all a better chest, which gives them better armor. Which is darn useful, if you ask me. All right. Oh, we're out of money. Agent Jones doesn't get a, a, a super cyber chest. Unfortunately. So we've equipped our agents for the assassination. We've equipped them all out. We've chosen our research. It's time to accept and enter the mission. So we're going to load up. And here we have all of our agents right here that we sent in, the four agents. And what I love is it colors their hair. Uh, the same color as your uh, company company logo color, which I think is great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select all my agents. Now a cool thing in Syndicate, you saw in that intro video that they were putting that chip in the back of their head. Well, this is their chip levels. And if we take all these, what we can actually do is we can knock these levels way down. And you'll see how this white line is going down. Well, what that does is that uh, that's going to kind of lower their abilities. This is adrenaline, perception, and I can't remember what the brown one is. I think maybe intelligence, so these two might be sw swapped. If we lower those levels and those bars get down to the end, what we can do then is if we get in a combat situation, we can pump them full of drugs. If I hit this button, it should do it. You can see here, bam, they pulled out their guns, their drug levels went super high, and so what happens is, put the guns away, uh, we can stay in a heightened state of alertness when we are pumping drugs into our guys. So what we're going to do is lower these down so when it comes time to use that, we're ready to go. So we need to do an assassination. So we're going to march our troops up forward here a bit. Sorry, the screen scrolling is very fast right now. It has to do with the way I've set up. I, uh, this is the first video I've recorded. I bought one of those giant 29-inch super-wide LG monitors. And the thing is beautiful, uh, but I'm still getting used to it. Oh, we got a punk here, so we'll... Oh, we got a guard over here. Kill him, guys. Bam. Shotguns doing their trick. Let's get our shotguns put away. So... The other thing we can do here is we can also pick up this equipment so we can walk over, pick up his gun, pick up this gun over here, and every gun that we pick up and take with us will actually get us more money at the end of the mission, and we'll also, uh, if we picked up a gun that we didn't have before, would give us some better research options. Alright, so we're going to take our, our group of four super spies up here. And you can see that their drug levels are going back up. i got to keep fiddling with these to make us the most effective we can be. But we're heading towards our assassination target, which is right there. Oh! Bad guy coming! Get him! 
There we go. Let's get his gun. Let's pop our drug levels down again. There we go. Alright. I'm going to continue on. We're almost to our assassination target. He's inside this building. Let's get to him and assassinate, shall we, folks? Hey, buddy. Say hello. Woo! We have assassinated him. Now let's get everybody out. Boom. So with our assassination, we don't have to get to a escape point. Sometimes you do. For this one, we just have to hit uh, space bar to finish the mission. And it'll take us to the mission briefing screen. Welcome back. I wish I had this kind of, like, anytime I came home from work, I wish I had this kind of cool, cool party going on. That'd be great. So here it shows us what we did. We completed it. We used four agents. We didn't gain any new agents. There's some higher level things you can do in the game to like recruit people to your side and actually steal other agents from other companies. We were in the mission for three hours and two days. Um, we killed one civilian, which was probably our assassination target. We killed three guards. We were 74% accurate. Pretty cool. So we can hit accept. And now, it takes us back to the map menu, and we can take this mission as the next mission available. You can see how this turned yellow, because we took it over. So if we go to the brief, you can see the next mission is a portional acquisition. This is where it wants us to use a device called the Persuadatron to kidnap some people. We're going to say accept, just so we can get back to this menu. And you can see now that we have all these shotguns that we picked up from those guards. We could sell these to get money. We could, if they were new types of weapons, we could research them. Our team is still here. Uh, our team, over time, we can increase their experience by getting them better mods, better weapons over time, and just form a team of super soldiers to help us take over the world with our syndicate. And that is kind of the basics of Syndicate. Great game. Uh, there was Syndicate itself. There was a follow-up game called Syndicate Wars. Uh, recently, we, they rebranded the franchise and came out with a first-person shooter uh, based in the Syndicate world. I haven't played that, but I, I know some people have liked that quite a bit. Uh, also had, that's where the rip the chip comes from, where they rip someone's chip out of their neck. Kind of cool. Um, but that's just a quick rundown of Syndicate. So, let's break away from our look at game for this month and take a look at the channel, shall we? Let's check it out. So, looking at the channel, we continue to grow. We continue to be doing great. I do want to apologize for October. Uh, things have changed a little bit outside of, of YouTube life, of course, in the real world. And I didn't have a chance uh, to sit down and record uh, the October video, uh, unfortunately. So I do apologize for that. But we're back on track with the November video, and we've been keeping up with our releases. Um, so let's talk about the channel right now. We're up to 153 subscribers, which is just great and awesome. I want to thank everybody who has been subscribing and watching the videos. Thank you very much. We finally rolled into the Ultima 6 Let's Play. A lot of people have been looking forward to Ultima 6. We've got that up and running. I will say, though, um, something that I'm finding strange. Ultima 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5... They all felt very much to be games of their time. They were very entertaining and fun to play. Um, they Some of them suffered from the limitations of their time. But moving to Ultima 6, um, even though I'm recording it, don't worry folks, I'm going to play through Ultima 6, I got to say that I'm not having as much fun with Ultima 6 as I have had with the previous games. I don't know if it's the specific interface for Ultima 6, I don't know if it's because I've played so many games now in that world and Ultima 6 is such kind of a half step uh, at this point as I'm getting more and more into it from the previous Ultimas to uh, that graphical style. I mean, there's a lot of new cool things that happen in Ultima 6 as far as uh, the way items are represented in the world, what you can move around on the map, uh, the way your party is displayed on the map. All of that's kind of neat. But on the other side, I know what Ultima 7's like, 
and the fact that Ultima 6 is like a half step to Ultima 7 as far as the interface, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, it's not giving me all that joy that I normally had in the Ultima series. It'll be kind of strange uh, to see how this plays out. I've played a little Ultima 6 before, and, you know, I'm going to keep digging into it. But, again, getting that recorded, kind of rough on me. Um, for Dark Souls 2, uh, we are still running through that. That will, uh, let me see, we're on episode 54. Uh, that should be wrapping up sometime this November, if I remember the episode count correctly. At least by the end of November or the first week of December or whatever, we should be wrapped up with Dark Souls 2. Great, great fun doing Dark Souls 2. Great game. I'm I'm really liking these challenge games. Games that are fun and fair, yet challenging. I have a lot of fun with them. I like the Dark Souls series. Uh, I haven't gotten into Dark Souls 3 yet. I've played about five minutes of it at one point. Uh, but really like Dark Souls. You can guess where that's going. So we still have, of course, all of our old content is up. Uh, I tried some streaming we talked about in the last video, uh, last content video that we did. Uh, that streaming's kind of backed off. I had fun with League of Legends and things like that, but I'm finding that uh, Dota, you know, I'm just not that great. Not a lot of people really like Dota. And as far as League of Legends goes, I, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the time or inclination to get myself leveled up to a point where I play through League of Legends. If you want to see a lot of League of Legends content, uh, Tartarus Rage who is one of our featured channels, one, somebody who really got me into YouTube to begin with for this channel, along with the thoughts of, hey, I can do that too. Uh, he's no longer really doing YouTube channels, but Tartars Rage TV, his Twitch channel, is going strong, and uh, he's currently doing a lot of videos there. If you want to see a lot of League of Legends content, that's what he's currently doing, so you might want to check that out. Uh, we still have Rough Night Gaming up here on our Feature channels, they are they are doing some Dark Souls 3, I do believe, for their channel right now. Uh, they continue to put out videos at a regular pace. Please check them out. Again, they've got us as a feature channel. Love to see some other YouTube creators send people back and forth. Always great to see. On top of that, not much else going on right now. Um, one, The big thing that I'm waiting for, of course, in the gaming world is we do have uh, the new Monster Hunter coming out here in a couple months. I'm hoping to put that on the channel. Just a little, not much of a teaser there, really. But other than that, we are continuing to grow, continuing to have people enjoy the videos. I want to thank you again all for watching. Um, I'm going to say, as usual, please like, comment, subscribe on the videos. Very much appreciate that. It does definitely help the channel out. So that's where we're going to wrap up this video for November. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Of course, please tell your friends. And as always, we hope to see you soon.